Chapman. The White House is now proposing new rules to expand upon who's eligible for overtime pay. But the president's being criticized by some business leaders who say this plan is only going to cost jobs. Kimberly Howard reports that they say that's especially true if the law is changed quickly through executive order. Right now, in many low-wage uh, positions, people can simply be designated as uh, supervisors or managers and not be paid for overtime when they worked those hours. The reasoning behind the White House's plan to change which workers are eligible for overtime pay. Right now, any salaried employees who make more than $23,660 a year can legally be made ineligible for overtime. President Obama wants to raise that threshold to more than 50 grand, meaning workers who qualify would be be guaranteed more money, time and a half each time they clock more than 40 hours a week. That actually will help our economy because when there's more money to be uh, spent in the economy, it will be spent. The White House says the ruling would expand overtime pay to 5 million people nationwide, some of them members of the Civil Service Employees Association. We're talking about uh, folks who um, many businesses are using a loophole to take advantage of. But some business leaders aren't so sure about how the president is going about this. You know, the reason we have a legislature at the federal level and even here at our state level is because issues need debate. Capital Region Chamber of Commerce CEO Mark Egan says if this ruling is enacted all at once, some businesses just won't be able to adjust. If they don't have the flexibility in their budgets, it means ultimately those businesses will either be open for less hours or they're going to do staffing differently. And oftentimes it means they reduce hours of other people. In Albany, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.